What is going on everyone out there in the card community? It's Eric with Classic Cards. We're here for another Box Bonanza episode. 1996 Pacific Prism. This is another Pacific uh, release for us here on the channel. So if you haven't, check out the videos of us doing 2000 Pacific Box and also a Pacific Vanguard from the same year. So today we've got 96 Pacific Prism and if you've never seen a box before you would go uh is this you know re-wrapped or something because you can see it's not very tight on it at all but it indeed does have the pacific collection factory seal sticker on it but then you go wait a second it feels super light like this is super light box look at it 36 packs 36 count 36 packs how could it be well there's really only about one, well there's two cards per pack. Basically one base card and then one bonus card. Usually it's a team logo. I don't think those are stickers, but it's kind of like a team logo card. So probably be a quick one. Pacific did a lot of Spanish releases. So you see a lot of Spanish on here down in you know the Latin markets. It's still Major League Baseball cards or tarjetas. Let's look at our odds here. Not too many parallels or anything in this release. In fact, there's one parallel. It's 144 base parallel cards. So it's 144 base set. There's 144 parallels and they're gold parallels. One in 18 packs, which uh, I don't see on here. I guess it says two in 37. So that works out to about one in 18. And gold prism, or prism de oro, I should say. Then uh, we got, let's see, Red Hot Stars, one in 37 packs. It's a 20 card set. It's the same for the uh, Fence Busters, one in 37 packs, 20 card set. And then you get a 10 card set of Flamethrowers, die cut, one in 73 packs. All those checklists are, you know, pretty decent. They, you could hit a good name. You can also hit a kind of eh name. Probably the best chances of hitting a great the name like a Hall of Famer, the probably the Red Hot Stars, lots of names there. So kind of have our look as it would back in the day on the hobby shelf, right? So let's basically get going. So like we said, two cards a pack, super, super thin here, super thin packs. One prism card plus a bonus card, usually a team logo. So let's crack it open, see what we got. Check out the design of the base set. Check out all these team logos that we're gonna get. And here we go. So it looks like the first one is gonna be a Mariners team logo. So nothing special. It is just a card, it's not a sticker. So we'll keep kind of those off to the side. And here's the base set, the back of it. Um, it has Spanish and English, and there it is. So that is the look of the set, base set. Very beautiful, kind of like an etched foil on part of the card design kind of like a webbing type deal so we should see 36 of those hopefully a couple more than 36 cards because we want some of those nice bonus cards Jack McDowell for the Yankees there's his card that's a nice one an Indian sticker or I guess soon to be something other than the tribe <laughs> with uh, how things are looking nowadays so let's continue on. We got a Blue Jays one. Nice for you Blue Jays fans. Throw that down there. And a Damon Eastley for the California Angels. Right there, Damon Eastley. So 144 card set. It would take you, you know, a good amount of boxes just to get the base set together. Can you imagine how hard it was putting some of the inserts together or as to why they didn't do many insert sets. Giants there, swing away sport cards. We got a Dante Bichette. For all you Rockies fans, Bo Bichette's daddy, daddy Bichette. <laughs> and next pack, so far no bonus, no special bonus cards, no insert bonus cards. Just got the team logo so far, and we got Andujar Cedeno, there's a Marlins one. This one you do get the kind of newer expansion teams like the Marlins, Rays, Diamondbacks logos. Well, so that's pretty cool. Like we said, they're not stickers, but they're still, so logo cards, which is cool. I like the team logos. Like, especially like seeing, you know, through time how they evolve, like the Astros. That's no longer looks like the Astros logo. Terry Steinbach, 
You can see in the background of the webbing kind of parallels the team color, Oakland gold and green. I like that as well. Pacific was just doing some really awesome stuff back in the day. And this was 96. I'd like to get my hands on a box of 95 Prism and also 2000 Prism. A lot of Pacific sets that, uh, that are nice. I wish I can get my hands on. So there's Tyler Green Expos team sticker, which is not even a team anymore. I guess it's the Nationals. I won't see a Nationals sticker or logo. Logo. Kevin Apier and look at his face. He looks like a nice guy. Nice face. Photogenic guy right there. Oh, wait, never, never mind. <laughs> Kevin Napier, and he's coming with the Angels sticker. California Angels. Very cool. I almost put that Angel sticker on top of the Giant sticker. <clears throat> Sorry. Ron Gant. There we go. So after the Angels sticker, we get a Dodgers sticker. Pino Man. There's the Ron Gant. For you Reds fans. So it's a little laborious opening the pack for, for one card. And there is one of my PC guys, Garrett Anderson. Didn't have that one that's going right into PC. GA, left fielder for the Angels. And doing all West Coast teams now. Angels, Dodgers, Giants, and there's the A's. We already got the Mariners. A lot of West Coast. Astros on the West Division now. And look at that, we got our first gold parallel. And it's a Benito Santiago. And there's the Diamondbacks, speaking of more West teams. Gold Prism, very cool. Shout out to Goody. And this is a Benny on the Reds. Don't usually see Benny on the Reds, probably, you know, Marlins or Giants. But there is Benito Santiago on the Reds. That's our first gold parallel. About two per box. We might see another one. Hopefully see another one of those. Not numbered, just a, uh, just a parallel, the only parallel of the release. And back to back, gold, it's an Edgar. Coming with the Yankee sticker, Edgar Martinez. So this one I'm gonna sleeve up because we got a gold parallel and a Hall of Famer. Edgar Martinez this is a beautiful card. Gold with those Mariners colors. Very cool, look at that. Hall of Fame DH right there. So that's our two golds. I was just saying we could hope for another one in the box and back to back. So probably won't be seeing another one of those. We got a Barry Bonds coming with the White Sox sticker. That's a nice one right there. Love that. Love the look of that one. I'm sure Nate Tots 8541 has that and the gold. Bonds is also in the Fence Buster set which is uh, the one of the 20 card set. He's actually also in the other 20 card set, the Red Hot Stars. He's in both of them. I don't think he's in the flamethrower set though. I think that's only reserved for pitchers, rightly so. And we got Edgardo Alfonso. This was the guy that we got the other parallel, a Pacific parallel of in the Vanguard release, Edgardo Alfonso. Definitely not a bad player back in the day. Not technically a superstar, and we got Hall of Famer Andre Dawson. Someone else on the team you don't normally see him on, Andre Dawson on the Marlins. Very cool, I like this design, super shiny. The back's not so hot, but the uh, front designs are pretty, pretty sweet. So, he's a Hall of Famer. So, how many Hall of Famers have we got? We've got 10, not too many, just the Edgar and the Andre Dawson. And then we can't bury Bonds as a Hall of, Hall of Awesome player. There's a Braves sticker. Manny Alexander, okay. I remember Manny Alexander. For the Orioles. Probably got outshadowed by Miguel Tejada. There's Mickey Tettleton. There's a Devil's Ray, Devil Rays. Back when they were the Devil Rays, Rays. Mickey Tettleton, very cool. Very shiny. Kind of looks like the shiny foils being ripped through the card. Cubbies, Cubs sticker for all you Cubs fan, Pedro Munoz. So not getting the best luck on the names in the base, base set. Let's try to see if we can heat up. Also no inserts yet. Albert Bell, there's the card. Look at the Cardinals logo. I don't know if I ever realized that that Cardinal had like an actual baseball, red baseball cap on. Albert Bell. Maybe the guy who should have been the true 95 MVP. Sorry, Movon. 
Just based on stats, we got Mickey Tettleton. So we actually did get a uh, duplicate there. And we got the Brewers, and which I think of as like the weirdest logo ever. <laughs> and this is like the American League Brewers, only team in the American League to play in all three divisions. And look at them today, they're in the National League. They're always moving around the Brewers scenes. Another card here we got. D, uh, Reggie Sanders, that was Dion. There's Royals team card. There's the Reggie. Let's get this box out of the way. Get all the packs out. There they are. Still a lot of packs because they're so thin. <laughs> so thin. Hoping for. I'd like to see one of those flamethrowers. One in 73 packs. I guess we could. We could keep dreaming. J Bell, and we got another Blue Jay. So that's our first team logo duplicate, I believe. Pretty good collation there. J Bell, fancy schmancy prism. Another pack here. I think that one's going to be. I think this is an insert. So we're going to hold that. I think that's a Red Hot Stars insert. So let's hold that for the end. Just based on the color, it looked like red. I could be wrong. Hideo Nomo. Second year Hideo Nomo card. His rookie would be 95. Yankee sticker again. So I think we I think we got the uh, Red Hot Stars 20 card set. That is, like I said, the set with probably the best names in the checklist. Brett Boone, Twins card, sticker. As far as you know, the good guys in the Red Hot Stars, we got Roberto Alomar, Chipper Jones. Mike Piazza, my boy Tim Salmon. That'd be crazy if I pulled Tim Salmon. Jeff Bagwell, Griffey, Maddox, Kirby Puckett, Frank Thomas, Tony Gwynn. We have a Tim Wakefield here. There's also Edgar Martinez, Bonds, as I said. Johnson, Randy Johnson, Don Mattingly, Ripken. So that is a loaded set for sure. Of course, now that I talk about it, I'd probably get you know one of the uh, nobodies on it. There's like our third Royals one, Ryan Klesko. Nice one back in the day. Not too many packs left. Wind down. This 96 Pacific Prism break. Hope you guys are enjoying. We got a Rockies team sticker. And a third Hall of Famer, if I'm being counting correctly, we got Tom Glavin. So that's a nice one. Tom Glavin, Andre Dawson. So far, our highlights are Edgar Martinez Gold Prism is our best card that we've seen. Esteban Loiza. He was a criminal. <laughs> and another pack. We have Larry Walker. So there's a Red Sox team sticker. We got a couple Yankees. There's our first Red Sox one. Another Hall of Famer, Larry Walker. So we got Glavin, Dawson, Martinez, Walker. Heating up, heating up at the very end here. Oh, we did it. We did it. Look at that. So we got the flamethrowers. There's the Rangers card. I would imagine, I thought we were going to get a base card and then, you know, kind of an insert, but it's, I guess the bonuses are just the logo. So it's really one, one pack, but there, one card a pack, but there is the flamethrowers and it's a Hideo Nomo. So it's not the, you know, Randy Johnson, Messina, Glavin, or Maddox. You probably want, I would have liked to pull the Maddox. That would have been fun, but look at that second year Hideo insert. And this is one in 73 packs. So it's about like one in three boxes. Super, super cool. Flame throwers. We're gonna have to just move that all out the way and put that on there for now. Cause that's a super sweet one. So very cool. Now if we could just hit one of the fence busters, I'll be very pleased. Very, very pleased. Pirate sticker or I keep saying sticker logo. There's Joe Carter for more packs left and then we got that red hot red hot card which i think those cards look super cool philly sticker and a burnaby bernie williams with an unfortunate corner on that guy we're, we're sorry bernie I'm sorry sorry blue rock third to last pack before we get the other red hot pack padre sticker and a chat curse and special thank you Chad see you later and we did we did it so look at that this is gonna be the fence buster 20 card set 
and we came out with a Hall of Famer. It's Eddie Murray. Came with the Orioles team card, but look at that fence buster. You can see the ball kind of going. This is like an etched foil type deal. There's the back, super cool. Very, very cool. Fence Busters or Rompe Cercas. Eddie Murray. So that's one in 37 packs. Not even guaranteed, you know, one of those a box. With 36 packs a box, they give you the odds at one in 37 packs. <laughs> because if you don't get one, they can say, oh, well, it's probably the other pack that you didn't get. Roger Clemens. And let's go to our final pack, final card that I believe is going to be one of those red hot inserts. Let's check it out. <laughs> it definitely is. We got white socks right here. We've seen that one. Some of you guys are really going to like this one. Look at that. Look at that one. Beauty. Donnie Baseball. Don Mattingly. Look at that line. It's kind of like a wave or almost looks like a fingerprint type of lines in that card. Etched. Got the Yankees logo on the right. Man, if you guys can see, it looks like a laser beam. Going through that when the light comes on it. Don, knee baseball, Don Mattingly. Multiple layers going on with this card. Estrellas Al Rojo Vivo, Red Hot Stars. Super cool, very successful break in my eyes. Love the base cards, very cool. But we will take the Edgar Martinez Gold Prism. Awesome, Don Mattingly, Red Hot Stars. One in 37 packs. Eddie Murray Fence Busters, one in 37 packs. And then, without further ado, we have the Best for Last Hideo Nomo Flamethrowers. And if you've ever seen a set, because they call many sets flamethrowers, uh, look at this flamethrowers set. Die cut and everything with the flames. Hideo Nomo, one in 73 packs. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did, along with all the team logos and stuff like that. We still got some base Hall of Famers and great players like Bonds. Even got a Gary Anderson. Didn't see any Tim Salmon for my PC, but that's okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, keep collecting. Care about the cards. Most importantly, each other. We'll see you tomorrow for yet another video. Catch you guys later.